folks, we're going to do a special last minute Thanksgiving recipe using some of the pumpkin spice apples. So, for this recipe, we're going to need celery, about three stalks, a leek, three medium sized carrots, some stale whole wheat bread, a, some of our pumpkin spiced apples, some chicken stock, if you're getting it from the store, get the unsalted and some sage. This is nice fresh sage. You could use a little bit less like a dried sage. And then of course we'll use some salt and pepper later. We're going to go through this kind of quick. I'll have the recipe for everything, all the ingredients, all of the steps laid out for you down in the uh, comments below or in the description below. Um, and there will probably be a link to uh, a long form one as well. Uh, so without any ado, I'm hungry and this is what I'm having for dinner, so stick around and see what's for dinner. I forgot to mention, you're also going to need some butter. If you didn't want to use butter, like if you were trying to make this vegan, you could use vegetable oil or any neutral oil. You'd be just fine. I like butter, so I'm going to use butter. We're going to get that into a pan over medium low heat and then we're going to slice up some celery. So we've got our celery chopped up, kind of big chunks, it's not a big deal. I like crunchy celery still, so go ahead and toss that in the pan with the butter and let that start to go. We're just going to let the veggies sweat for now, we'll develop color later. Our next step is going to be the carrots. We're going to cut it about the same size as the celery and then get that in the pan as well. And I'm going to add just the tiniest pinch of salt just to help the moisture come out better. Now for the leek. We're going to cut the greens off. Use those for some stocking later maybe. And we're going to cut the root end Put these away. Then we're going to take the leek and split it down the middle. Beautiful layers. And then that you can go into the pan as well. And now we're going to turn our attention to the apples. We're going to use about four slices. Uh, let's make it six. Set those aside. Snack on them while it cooks. Make sure that's not in frame of the other camera. Mm -mm. Nope. Yep. Alright, now we're just going to cut these into small chunks and then we're going to crank the heat up to high because now we want to start developing color on the vegetables so we'll add a little more salt and a little bit of pepper and give it a stir For the next step, whole wheat bread. I happen to have made this, but you can get a loaf at the store. You need about a pound of it. Ideally, you want this to sit out and get stale for a day. This is set out for a couple hours. It's also a few days old, so should be good. We're going to cut that into chunks, uh, about half an inch to an inch. You basically want enough to fill a 9x13 baking sheet. So remember how we said it was a last minute recipe? Well, we're making a last minute addition. 
whiskey. Just a splash. So now the next step, now that the veggies are nice and starting to get soft, we're going to take the bread and add it to the pan with the veggies. I dropped a piece. I dropped a piece. Oopsies! And then we're going to add uh, one cup of chicken stock. This container, or sorry, two cups of chicken stock. This container has four cups, so we're going to use about half the container. And we're just going to let some of the bread soak some of that in. Mix it all around. And this is going to break up the bread somewhat, of course. But we also want the bread to absorb all that liquid. And add it back into the baking dish. So once it's in the, pan, in the baking dish, go ahead and press it into the corners. You want to get this compacted into one neat packet. The, the liquid's going to help do that. Again, if you wanted to keep this, if you wanted to keep this vegan or vegetarian, you could absolutely use vegetable stock or a mushroom stock instead. So it looks like that's pressed in there pretty good. All right, so now that we've got it pressed into the pan real good, we're gonna cover it with some foil and then put it in the oven. The foil is gonna keep the moisture in while it bakes. So we'll come back and check on that in about 15 minutes. I think it's gonna take longer than that, maybe 30, maybe even a little more. We'll see how it goes. Like I said, it's a last minute recipe. back up while we chop up some sage. We're going to sprinkle that on top. Then we're going to wrap it back up. Give it another 10 minutes. See you in a few. All right, time's up. Let's pull it out and take a look. Ooh, smells really good. Looks really good. just about ready. I'm going to go ahead and turn the oven up to 500. If you have an oven with a broiler on the top, you could put it on broil, like a low broil. I'm just going to put this back in until it gets a little bit brown on top. And crispy. Alright, let's check it. There we go. Nice and brown on top, starting to get a little toasty. Probably want to give that a minute to cool, but in the interest of time, I'm going to cut a little piece and let that smaller piece cool off by itself. Man, that looks good. Alright, let's give that a minute to cool off. Alright, I think it's cooled off enough. Let's give it a try. Mmm. 
you get the apple and the cinnamon and ginger and stuff just a little bit of that whiskey really great nice and moist too give it a try recipes down below like subscribe share it with your friends give it a try on thanksgiving we know how it goes have a good one really good.